Hey guys, welcome to Home Studying Through Our Eyes. Today we are installing our pipe to do our burn on our wood stove outdoors before we move it in to burn off any fumes or paints or anything really. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, because I already installed or put together this piping, you can see down the ridge there that it's just a couple of folded pieces that make a rivet and you slide it into place. So you do that by taking this piece and this piece and curving it beyond its circle, so making it tighter on both ends. And once you have this down and in, it just slips, it simply slips in and you form it back in place and that's what holds the lock. So if you get any misforming for when you're working on it, all you gotta do is put it on the ground opposite the seam and push down and bend it. Oh, you can see there. And you can bend it, simply bend it back into a circle. Kinda. So to install this, this simply slips in the male end into the female end. You do this because creosol builds up on the inside of the pipe and runs down. So you can see if this pipe were to overhang, it would run down the side and out. So you always put the male end in. And there you go. In order to do your first burn on your wood stove, you must have your chimney pipe, or your stove pipe, excuse me, not chimney pipe. Chimney pipe is what goes on the outside. Your stove pipe connected so that the draft will work correctly. So install this flange back into place and we'll get a fire going. So we have a small fire going. It seems that all the cracks that we had had didn't seem to be affected too much. And we don't see any smoke coming out anywhere else and it seems to be burning efficiently. A small fire going in right now. We're gonna add a little bit. Get it going a little better. Get a big raging fire to burn everything off, as I said before. with you shortly. So we're inside the yurt with the wood stove. Um, we gave it 
three to four big burns. As I said earlier, we were going to start to do a big burn. Uh, we went through that and pretty much ran it in full blast. I stuffed it full three or four different times and let it burn through. Um, a tip I would have is try to install a very tall chimney flue because the draft ended up not working as well because we only had you know three four foot section of chimney coming off the back so it actually did smoke a lot and whenever I opened the door it came out and it kind of tarnished the knob and got all sooty here and there so uh, just make sure your chimney is high enough for the exhaust to work correctly as I said we gave it multiple burns and a buddy of mine stopped by and helped me carry it in here so now it's in and the next step we are working on is the chimney and stovepipe so stay tuned and we'll keep you guys updated on how that goes as well stay tuned keep posted that's how you do your first burn on a wood stove. I'm assuming if you're watching the first burn video you'll probably be installing a wood stove as well. So we'll have videos on stove piping and chimney and how to put it through the wall or the yurt wall in this instance. So stay tuned and check back often and keep up to date with us and what we're doing. Take care. Have a nice day. Check you later. Peace.